wanted a porch. It's been 50 years since I've been in this place and it's a bit kind of nerve-wracking and my stomach's turning a bit. So oh, here's the front room. Oh yes, cosy, nice and warm. Moving into this house was a big deal for my parents. They'd saved up for so long to buy it. My dad had been working as a welder and my mum always worked in an office. The gramophone was here and I used to sit here every Sunday afternoon listening to Pickers Pops with Alan Freeman. You know Pop Pickers, while the groups are having it all their way. The guy next door used to wear leathers and have a motorbike. Much older than me, and he had big blue eyes and hair slicked back. And he used to let me go in and listen to his rock and roll records. He were like Gene Vincent. Be -ba -ba -la. So, this is the room where I went on strike. I decided when I was sort of like early teens to put away all girly things. I painted everything white, there was no pink things at all, nothing frilly. That's what really started me into thinking, ah, oh, I think girls can do something a bit different. Um, why, are, why are we being limited? Why are there only boy bands? Why aren't there any girls singing? So this like germ of an idea started happening and used to ask, when we went out to dance halls, ask the bands if I could come and sing with them. And that's where I sort of trained. So this, is my wonderful old school Robert Clack. This is my maths class. I'm going to go in there now. Hello. Hi. Long time no see. <laughs> yes. Now, I remember you really well, and I wonder whether you remember my class. You were in class 3D. Um, I could describe them as the most difficult for me in the 33 years I, I was Robert Clack. There was rioting. <laughs> from time to time. The other teachers I remember really well were Mr Jones, because without him I couldn't have started recording in French. I was amazed when I realised that you re did record in various languages. Yeah. It's all thanks to Robert Clark, yeah. my school. On se retrouve tous les soirs On est heureux de se voir Et moi je me dis toujours Pour vous, pour vous, que ça dure this was the iconic Ilford Pally. One time there was a talent contest on here, but only came second. However, there was a guy there who said, my uncle's in show business. I'd like you to go up to London to meet him. My mum and dad didn't know it until I suddenly announced that I'd been discovered. They're totally and utterly shocked at our Sandra. The streets are crowded and it's just as always in this part of the town. All that time, one of my big things was that I sang barefoot. It was because I knew where I came from and it was a reminder of the sort of rags to riches Cinderella story. I don't think essentially I, I've actually changed that much. I'm still really coming from the same place and singing from the same hymn book. That's what I've learned from this journey. 